Hello, this is Mike Linseth and this my lab partner Dennis Huffman yeah. here. Um, we're just uh, going to explain a little bit of what we did with the RC and RL filters. Um, we have waveforms here that we have in a PowerPoint slide. Um, these were all taken off of our lab view though, so we'll just go into it. This was the actual circuit construction that we did. We had an inductor and a resistor in series. Um, we had an input voltage from our DAC, or from the fun function generator that we use in LabVIEW, um, and uh, connected it with the DAC and had input voltages. <clears throat> and uh, we could adjust our frequency also. And then we wired that back into the input that goes into the DAC and we read, we read our signs with the oscilloscope. So we'll go into this is what uh, theoretically what our RL wave was supposed to look like. And as you can see, um, we got something very similar starting at this was at a thousand hertz. And then we stepped up to 5,000 hertz, still very similar waveform. Um, 10,000, similar still. 15,000, um, it looks like it's, we might have some distortion. Um, we weren't quite sure if this was supposed to be what it looked like. But nonetheless, after 15,000, we got cut off, so we went right, right into our RC construction. Um, RC construction was pretty much the same as our RL circuit, um, just replaced the inductor with capacitor. It's in series, everything else, every other wire is hooked up the same. Um, here's theoretically what a RC waveform would look like. Um, we're concentrating more on these V out at medium frequencies. We used sine wave instead of square wave, so here's our sine waves. This is starting at 100 hertz, 200 hertz goes, we just keep going up to 400, 800. And then at 2000 we start seeing what uh, our medium frequency range is supposed to look like as the, uh, the wave changes here. It looks like it gets cut off. <clears throat> and it just uh, keeps going on from there. It does basically the same thing. So. That's our presentation and for our LabVIEW project.